Hello everyone, welcome to this brand new lesson and in this lesson we are gonna learn about how we can predict a suicidal tendency in a Twitter data. A lot of the time when people get depressed they make an online update or a status update on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. So for that sake of identifying a suicidal tendency we are gonna take uh, Twitter data for this analysis. So let me show you first where you can get this data. You have to visit my github repository github forward slash Lachmi Merit and there inside this repository there you have Twitter suicidal intention data set. Otherwise you can search here the Twitter then you will get all the data set which had tweet data. So let's go ahead and get this data set. Once you open this repository, all right, you will get the description of this data set. So this data is having a two column. A first column is about the tweet and the another column is having the intention of that tweet. If intention is one, that's mean it is a suicidal intention. And if intention is zero, that's mean it's a normal tweet. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on this Twitter suicidal. Thereafter, you have to click on this view raw and then it will, uh, alright, then you can copy this, uh, this link. Now you have here a raw data set. In this raw data set, first column is Twitter and the another column is intention. So let's go ahead and read it in our Google Colab notebook. If you don't know how to work with Google Colab notebook, you can visit this link. Thereafter, you can click on this file and new notebook. All right, and then you can change the name of this notebook. All right, superb. Now let me make it in full screen mode. Thereafter, you need to import here pandas as a pd, import numpy as np. All right, thereafter, we are gonna read it so pd dot read underscore csv and pandas can read the data online so you need to provide the link of the data which we are going to read here thereafter we are going to read it in a data frame df and then you can see the first few line of this data frame with df dot head so it says uh, it shows us a five rows of this data there are two columns. In the first column, we have a Twitter and the last column, the second column is about the intention. Now let's go ahead and see how many uh, uh, how many rows we have with intention 0 and 1. So you can check it with value count. So there we have df, then we have here intention. Thereafter you can say here a value underscore counts. So it says that we have around 5000 data for a zero that's mean a normal tweet and 4000 data is for suicidal intention all right perfect now let's go ahead and uh, import here kgp talky pre-process package so you can get that package from the github repository lachmi Mari, lachmi merit and uh, github all right uh, github.com lachmi merit and then come to this repository there you will have here pre-process kgp talky so this is pre-process kgp talky uh, the python package so it is especially made for pre-processing of the text data you can copy this one thereafter you need to come here then you can simply uh, you know you can simply paste here so it's pip install and then this is link for the repository so it will install this pre-process package Thereafter, you need to import this pre-process KGP talky as PS. All right, so so it has um, imported this pre-process KGP talky as a PS. Thereafter, you need to again come back to this pre-process package, and it has here a default method to pre-process data. So in this, we are doing here lowercase conversion contraction to expansion, removal of emails, URL, HTML tags, 
retweets, recented characters and special characters and this one is repeated character like this one. If you have any text data, in general we have this type of text data in a tweet, it will be converted to this type of the data. Alright, so all these pre-processing we are going to do here. Uh, but before that we have to also import here RE. Let's go ahead and uh, copy it here, uh, paste it here, get clean. Alright, once we have get clean, now we are going to do here cleaning of our data set. And we can do that cleaning simply by calling here df and tweet is equal to data frame tweet dot apply and then we are going to use here a lambda function lambda x thereafter you can simply call get clean so with this it will clean all the rows of this tweet data now you can see your first few line of the data set all right so this is this one is this one is cleaned version and we have done these cleaning on this twitter data all right so cleaning is done and uh, our data is ready for the training so let's go ahead and uh, import here a tfidf vectorizer so from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text import tfidf vectorizer all right sorry tfidf uh, vectorizer thereafter from sklearn dot model selection import train test split so that we can uh, split our data set in uh, training set and test set thereafter from sklearn dot svm so we are going to use here support vector machine import linear svc all right thereafter we are going to import here classification report so that we can evaluate our uh, machine learning model from sklearn dot metrics import classification report all right so you will be needing these python packages to get started with our data set now let's go ahead and uh, and make here tf idf all right object from the tf idf vectorizer so this tf idf vectorizer is having a lot of input parameter and in this input parameter we are gonna leave most of the parameter as it is but we are gonna change this max feature parameter so i'm gonna say here max feature is equal to 20,000. that's mean we will be taking only first only the top 20,000 uh, uh, the dictionary words into account that's mean number of features will be here 20,000 and thereafter I'm gonna put here n gram range this n gram range I'm gonna put here 1 to 3 that's mean it is going to be unigram bigram and trigram all right that's mean there is a, a single word then the combination of two words and then the combination of three words and instead of being uh, instead of making it a word analyzer we are going to make it here a character analyzer so what is this character analyzer i'll tell you just a second so if we take the word analyzer then the, then the analysis i mean the tokenization of the text data are done word by word but if but if we select here character analyzer then the tokenization are being done character by character all right so character to character uh, tokenizer uh, sorry this character analyzer or you can say the tokenizer shows a better result than the word analyzer all right so we have got here our tfidf uh, object thereafter we are going to get our x vector so we can get it with the tfidf dot fit underscore transform and there we are going to pass this tweet data all right and the y y is simply tf and intention all right so we have got our x vector and y vector you can also check the shape of uh, x so it says that we have total 9119 rows and each rows are having only 10000 total number of features that's mean by default we had selected here 20000 
but it has only 10,000 features. All right, that's mean these features are below this range. Otherwise, if it was more than 20,000, then it have been only 20,000 because we had assigned here 20,000 maximum number of feature. All right, once you have done it, now we can do our uh, train test split. So we are gonna do here x train and then x test y train and y test is equal to train test split in that we are gonna pass here x y uh, let me make it here all right we are gonna pass here x y thereafter i'm gonna make here a test underscore size is equal to just 0 0.2 and uh, thereafter i'm gonna make here random state is equal to 0 all right, once you do this one, then uh, your X and Y data is splitted into training set and testing set. Now we are ready to create our linear SVC. So CLF is equal to linear SVC. Thereafter, I'm gonna put here a CLF dot fit. And in that I'm passing here a training, X train and then Y train. So it will do here a training of our linear SVC and these are the default parameters selected with linear support vector machine. All right, so we have trained our model and we are gonna predict it. So you can simply say that y pred is equal to clf dot predict. And in that I'm gonna pass here x test. All right, so our prediction is done here. Once prediction is done, now we can do here, uh, we can print a classification report. In this classification report, we need here y underscore test, which is y true, and then y pred. All right, so this is predicted value. And it says that we have got a huge accuracy. This is 93% accuracy, is a huge accuracy for this small data set. All right. Now you have trained your model. Let's go ahead and do some real time prediction. All right, so I'm gonna do here x is equal to, uh, I'm gonna say here, no one cares about me. I'll, I'll die alone, let's say. All right, so this is very depressed uh, sentiment. All right, then I'm gonna say here, x is equal to get clean, do remember, Whatever pre-processing you have done on your training data, you have to do all those pre-processing on the test data as well. So vector is equal to TF IDF. Now we have to convert our text data into numerical vector. And there we need to use here TF IDF. So TF IDF dot transform. And then we have to pass our data inside a list. All right. Perfect. Thereafter, we are going to do here CLF dot predict. Now we can pass a vector inside this CLF. And it says that there is one. That's mean this one says that this sentence is suicidal intended. All right. That's mean there is suicidal intensity in this sentence. Now let's go ahead and test another one. Uh, that one I'm going to simply copy here. And then I'll, I'll change this sentence only. And... Uh, other than this, everything will be same. So I'm gonna say here, uh, today I'm so happy. I'm gonna say that, uh, thanks. Thanks a lot for making it, let's say, special. All right, let's go ahead and run it. Now you should get here a zero result. That's mean this sentence is not suicidal intended. All right, perfect. Congratulations. This is how you can make your uh, machine learning model for suicidal intensity or suicidal tendency classification. So you have successfully predicted suicidal tendency in Twitter data using TF-IDF vectorizer in a Python. All right. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe this channel. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.